Good morning, Spartans. Welcome back to a new episode of Spartan TV. I'm your host, Ashley Montes, along with Tamara Partita and Carissa McLean. And you're watching, you're watching Spartan, Spartan TV. TV. While doing all this online school, I get so hungry, but never know what to make. You know, I have the same problem, but luckily we have Spartans who really know how to get it going in the kitchen. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to make guacamole. Basically what you're gonna need is onion, tomato, limes, or lemons, whatever you'd like. Um, cilantro, obviously avocados, a bowl to do the smashing in, and a knife. Okay, so first we're gonna cut up and scoop two avocados or however much you're making, and then, you know, mash it up. Then moving on to the onion, which my sister helped me mince because my eyes started to burn and tear up. Anyways, um, I like to let the onion soak in lime juice just to lower the strongness of its flavor. And now next with the tomatoes, I cut these vertical and horizontal lines to create squares, which I also ended up struggling with. But once you're satisfied, we're going to go ahead and start chopping up our cilantro so that we don't choke on it. Once that's done, then we're going to mix the ingredients together. Now you can add as much juice as you'd like, um, and same goes for the salt, it's just all in preference. And now finally, after all the mixing, you can go ahead and get your favorite chips or crack crackers of your choice and enjoy your guac. Well, Katrina did such a great job with that guac. I know what I'm going to make at the school. Yeah, same. But you know what it would pair so good with? What? A burrito. And Matthew is really making me crave one. A few minutes later, a little longer than a few minutes later. Alright man, here All you right. go. Thanks. Uh, hey man, something doesn't feel right. What do you mean man? What's wrong about it? I'm not sure, just something feels odd. to eat that breakfast burrito sure looked good it would look even better if you ate it while filling out the senior scholarships yes yeah, signing up for senior scholarships is very important hello seniors i'm david Pinedo, and today on Spartan tv i'm here to let you know about scholarships our school awards thousands of dollars in scholarships every year to our amazing spartans i hope many of you seniors apply this year and make sure to submit your application by april 16th at 3 p.m There should be a barcode up on your screen. Take a picture of it, it should take you directly to the site. And make sure to spread the word about these scholarship Spartans. If you have any questions, you can email Ms. Thorpe or Ms. Coral.
Peace out, Spartans, and stay safe. Wow, guys, thanks for that helpful video. Even though they helped us so much, scholarships can still be super stressful. Yeah, for sure. You know what else can be really stressful? What? Working while in school. Let's take a look at Anthony's daily routine. Another day of work, making these sandwiches. You know, when I get home, oh, I have these assignments to do. Washing dishes. I'm really behind on assignments, I need to catch up. Time to go for the day. Closing up. Finally home. Tired. But it's time to get to work. Mm. See what I have to do for today. Okay, I have that due. Time to get to work. Wow, is it morning already? That was a long night. But at least I got my work done. That seems super stressful. It must be hard having to balance that all out. Right? Finding a balance between family, friends, and school could really take a toll on someone. And it could take a serious toll on relationships. Oh, good morning, Mom. Mm, good morning. Good morning, Kamani. Good morning. Good morning. What is this? I don't know. Maybe you should look at it. You let me know what it is. Paper. Yeah, well maybe you should read it. Oh, see what had happened. Was... I don't care what had happened, Kamani. I don't care about your dumb little excuses anymore. You need to figure your life out. Because you're getting too old, and I'm tired of you being my responsibility. What are you doing? Getting in the car. You're not coming with me. You're not my responsibility. So how am I supposed to get to school? You can walk. Hey, Kalani. Bro, move. Come on, what's wrong? Nah, bro, leave me alone. Come on. Move, man. Having a difficult relationship with your parents is not the easiest. Not only that, but it's really hard seeing someone push away their closest friends because of that. Yes, that's why it's very important to keep a strong relationship with those who are closest to us, even when we just need a little break. Speaking of break, I think it's time for a short commercial break. Hey. Who said that? I did. Who are you? I'm a seller of a certain pencil. A certain pencil? Where did you come from? That's not important. But what is important are these lead pencils? Yes, lead pencils. A more simple and convenient pencil to exist. Really? Yes. Are you tired of trying to sharpen your pencil and risk of ruining it? <laughs> well, just press on the eraser to push out some lead. And you'll be writing in no time. Just don't push too hard on the pencil or else the lead will break. Finally, hold the eraser and push the lead back so that way you'll never waste any. Oh, surely you get used to this thing. Thanks, Matrix looking guy. I know you will. 
Get yours today. Extra LEDs sold separately. And we're back, Spartans, right on time. Talking about time, here's a clip about focusing on school and keeping a set schedule. Oh man, I have class in 10 minutes. I really don't want to go, but I should go. Oh well, I have it. 10 minutes. Oh, someone text me. Let's see who it is. Oh, Chris wants me to play. I guess I could play right now. I mean, I don't really need this class anyway. Guess I know what I'm doing, yo. Oh man, I have to get back on my work right now. I haven't been in class in two weeks. You know, I need to focus on school now. I can't be playing video games in class. It's not good. I'm failing and I need to do my work. No more phone either. Time to do work. Oh man, this is the tonight at midnight. Oh my God, I only have like three hours to do you it. Do I'm gonna get it. straight to work right now. Remember Spartans, to do your work and have a good schedule so you can succeed. Having a good schedule and study habits is extremely important. It keeps you on track. Exactly, a schedule is much needed, especially when you're a senior. I mean, look at all the deadlines and activities we have coming up. Right, but all those things really get to you sometimes. It just creates stress. I don't know how our athletes manage. Yeah, speaking about our athletes, our Spartan football team had a game this Saturday against Kaiser High School. Great game play by our Jay Hill football team. Yeah, I could definitely see how hard they've been working. For sure, we are currently 2 0 Spartan, so let's make sure to continue supporting our boys so they can keep taking these dubs. Yes, Spartans, but also make sure to focus on yourself and do everything you can to stay organized and do well in school. I know that during these times, we can be unorganized or lazy. That's why it's best to make a folder for each individual period so that way you won't have to keep looking for your saved work or get your work mixed up. It can save you a bunch of time and can help you in the long run. That was a very helpful video, especially because we've been working from home since the start of the year. Yeah, for sure. Things can get real disorganized. That's why it's important to stay focused and organized when it comes to school. Something else that takes organization and focus is learning a new language, such as American Sign Language. Let's take a look at this video of the basics of ASL. So for today's lesson, I actually want to teach you guys how to do uh, your ABCs in sign language. I specifically chose this topic because I have family that are deaf and we communicate with them using your fingers or your hands, yeah. And I feel like it's very important because they're, they're people but they're different in the ways how they communicate. So to start off, uh, we're going to do with the ABCs and basically... So for A, it's going to be like this, A, B, C, uh, D, E, F, G, 
H I J K like this L M N O P just like K but instead it's gonna be down to a P Q R S S mm -hmm. T U B W X Y Z so Z really uh it could be like like a sharp like you know how in cursive it just goes like this but it could just go like or like this Z and that's how you do ABCs um it's really not that it's not that I feel like it's not it wasn't really that hard to learn or, or too complicated to catch on but uh as you process like with learning more and like with more practice you'll get it just like if it was nothing wow that's so interesting i'm gonna start learning how to do my name and sign yeah same i always found it really cool it's like an additional way for us to communicate especially now that we have to keep our distance yeah but i just can't wait for this whole pandemic to be over there are so many things that have to happen before we can celebrate that COVID-19 is completely gone. Stephanie gives us a clear picture of a lot of things that our Spartans are going through when dealing with this pandemic. Hey Spartans, this is Stephanie. I'm going to be documenting my second dose of the COVID vaccine. So I got my first dose March 6th, 2021. I'm getting my second dose tomorrow, March 28th, 2021. So with my first dose, I only got a mild fever and soreness on my arm, but I was up and running the next day. So it was only 14 hours worth of symptoms. And yeah, this is just my personal experience. I'm not telling you to get it. I'm not telling you not to get it. And I'll keep you guys updated throughout the day on how I'm feeling. So yeah, see y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm about to head over there, get the second dose. So I will keep you guys updated. I'm officially vaccinated. Um, it hurt. Hey guys, so it's been two hours after the vaccine. I am feeling nauseous. Um, I'm in bed. I decided to lay down. I had to take a Tylenol just now because my arm is getting sore. Yeah, I'll update you guys in another two hours. Well, it is like six o'clock i fell asleep for like ever but i am feeling fine right now my arm is definitely not as sore as the first one um but i didn't take a tylenol for the first one so we'll see hey guys update it's 3 30 in the morning i woke up because i have a 101.2 fever i have a headache my body hurts I was dizzy when I got up and I felt like throwing up. Um, I just took another Tylenol. I have to try to go back to sleep because I have class in like five hours. So, wish me luck on that one. I'll update you guys when I'm in class. It's nine. I'm in class and literally it's everything's ten times worse. I just got up from a nap. I don't know if you guys can see how shiny my skin is. Literally, it's all sweat. I'm back to 100 fever after going down. It's literally 4 p.m. I've been in and out of fever all day. Had to go get um cold racks. Update, I have put towels on my head and I think it's going down. So I am down to... um. I'm down to a 99.1, so that's good. It's going back to normal, guys. Wow, Stephanie really set the bar on how to take a shot. No crying or anything? The good thing is her symptoms only lasted like a day. I guess it was worth it. Yeah, but even with a vaccine, it's always important to still stay safe. Hey Spartans, it's Aiden Roman. And you might ask yourself why COVID-19 is so important. Well, here's why. This COVID case was founded in January 2020, and everything from then went downhill. It's so important because this disease has killed over 2 million people in the past year, and that is a lot. Here are some things you could do to prevent you getting the disease and you spreading the disease. It is important that you always wash your hands for about 20 to 30 seconds. And to lastly, always use hand sanitizer after touching things. 
Staying home is the best thing to do at these times. And if you can't do so, please limit your social gatherings to six to nine people. Therefore, these are the reasons why we should take things serious and slow down the spread of COVID-19. Remember, the wiser we are now, the sooner we can go back to normal. Well, Spartans, our time here is just about up. It was fun though. Yeah, I really feel that our TV Spartans made an impact with the videos they produced. Definitely, so Spartans, make sure to tune in later this week to see what else we have in store for you. Also, make sure to stick around and catch the episode of the show. Make it a great day, Spartans. You deserve it. Hello everyone, Hello. and welcome back to the show. It's a uh, it's hot spring day today. Uh, is that right? Dude, playing soccer for two weeks takes a lot out of you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I need some air. No, I'm fine. 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 i am fine i yeah, get, get off the chair, cameraman. No one likes you. Yeah, it's uh, no one likes you. Uh, you can sit. Hey, in cameraman. Is your wife still cheating on you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Er everyone, welcome. Uh, cool, cool guy, McGee.